at him. So I believe Nigeria will be better one day. Yes, that is so, what so, I so have to tell that, Nigeria. You believe that Tunubu is doing a nice job? Of course, yes. Because why Tunubu? I said so. Tunubu is doing a nice job. I'm, I'm fit to say so, and I'm pompous to speak. As everybody can hear me out. Tunubu, when he was a governor, Nigeria is 37 states. Okay, let me Abuja. Let me minus Abuja out of it. 36 states. How many governors have done what Tunubu did? When I was in Lagos, I know what Tunubu did. That is why I fall in love with Tunubu. That even though Tunubu is not for my family, but I love him as a person. I respect him for who he is because he's a man of Tiba and caliber and he's a man that has potentials for himself and he's a gallant soldier that fits to be our president. So for me, Tunubu is doing well. So like uh, all those words that people normally say that uh, Tunubu built Lagos, Tunubu built Lagos. So you... you you agree on that now? Of right? course, yes. I'm aware. Not people tell me what I don't know. I'm aware. I witnessed everything. Atunubu turned Lagos to paradise. Lagos was full of taps and full of miscrats and full of different, different type of criminals you never, you never found before in your life. But when Tunubu come to government, government, Tunubu turned everything to make sure everybody in Lagos, everybody's okay. In a part of security purpose in a part of enough job for the citizen of lagos state the sons and beautiful daughters of lagos state. so everybody was financially okay for what tunibu did okay. so like, like, i'm can you compare them um, what tunibu did uh, in lagos state to what uh, obi did in anambra state no i cannot compare the both of them because okay. why what tunibu did in lagos is more than what obi did in anambra state obi self knows the truth so he cannot that Tunubu or rather I compare Tunubu. In fact, Tunubu is the one that gave him the logistic that he used to, you know, make himself to be the emperor of uh, Enugu state. So for today, he did well in Enugu state, I know. But the one Tunubu did in Lagos is more than the one Ob Obi did in uh, Anabra state. But, but, but don't forget that before Obi left the, the office, like he left some money. Yeah. And all of that. So, yeah. did, did Tunubu leave any money or left money for the for the upcoming uh, governor to continue with? Yes, I'm, a, I'm a much aware of that. That Tunubu did so because Tunubu is not uh, is not the kind of a man that uh, that people doesn't know. So, he's a father to the nation, and uh, Tunubu did more than that money that will be left. He laid a legacy. So, he laid a legacy whereby we are enjoying it today in Lagos State, because all part of different assorted states, I mean assorted tribe, assorted states in Nigeria, all of them benefit in Lagos for the hard work of Tunubu, for the legacy in lay. That is what we are enjoying today. So that is why we said we wanted to be our president, because for long we have been fighting for Tunubu to come and wipe our tears. It's a messiah from God. So nobody have the right to accuse him. They should leave him to do his work, what God sent him to do. So me myself, particularly, Prince Likely, I'm the full executive member of uh, All Progressive Congress in diaspora, representing the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So I cannot say what is not right. I will say what is right. So like, 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 can you measure one thing now that Nigerians are benefiting ever since uh, Tunubu uh, take over? Yeah, because like one thing uh, Nigerians are benefiting. Yeah, of course. Nigeria are benefiting some different things from Tunubu that like uh, changes are coming. Like what are those changes? Changes are coming. Even the subsidy it talked about before it came to power. So we are seeing difference in the subsidy. Okay. Look at what Tunubu is doing now. Look at Niger Delta. All the sheep, all those fake politicians are sending to the higher sea to go and uh, you know, to go on, to go on the, uh, um, like, like, like so, I mean, to go on, to go on, drill, to the point of my knowledge, I mean, my corruption, to go and drill a crude oil, yeah. all of them are be arrested by the naval officers. Like, I mean, like, yeah. what an Nigerian benefiting from, like, he has made a lot of promise ever since the first day he took over. You understand? Like, yeah. he talked about the student loan. Mm -hmm. He talked about sharing a, a palliative, 8,000 before 5,000 naira. Like, up to this very moment, mm. like, what is those things now? 
that he said that um, Nigeria are benefiting from? Mm. Like, what has he done that Nigeria are benefiting from? Yes. Like, is it the, the cost of uh, pump price? Like, uh, before he took over, if where was about 200 naira, yeah. for example. But yeah. now, if where has been sold almost 700 naira. So, well. so, so, what is those things now that Nigeria is benefiting from? Okay, good and fine. For me, particularly, the foil price before uh, Senator Tunubu, our head of state, came to come to power, that price, the peop the problem we have in Nigeria now is individually the filling station owners. That is what Senator Tunubu is trying to solve for we sons and daughters of Nigeria. Because they are the one putting price, giving people price, not the refinery. That is why Tunubu said any own filling station owner that put price that we don't see accept we Nigerians they should get him arrested. Yes. So that one aspect, Tunubu is trying to solve it. And I know he will do it. Okay, like I yeah. heard you called him uh, a messiah. Yes. Like, could you just yes. emphasize on it? Like, okay. why is Tunubu a messiah? Yes. When I say the messiah is that people that don't know him, they talk bad against him. Even Jesus Christ, they talk bad against Jesus Christ. They beat him. A lot of, a lot of beating and they criticize I mean, uh, crucify him and criticize him. But the same thing with Tunubu. If Tunubu don't supposed to be our president of Nigeria, he cannot be there. So Tunubu is there today, is by God's power. Tunubu there today is there to solve our problem because that is why we call it Messiah, because he knows our pain. He knows what we want. He knows what, what we need. That is why we said, Nobody will take our fruit of our labor for us because he suffered. Senator Tunubu suffered to achieve that position. He merits it. That is why we call him Messiah. And Nigeria should take look of, take notice about what I'm telling the whole world today. They should give Tunubu now in one year. Now, many people said it's hundred years, it's a uh, hundred days is office. What has he done? They should forget about that. We don't believe on talking too much. I shall speak like that a voice. That is why I called Senator Tunubu a man of Tiba and Caliber, a man that has potentials for himself to do anything whatsoever that is paining us in our minds. So they should leave him and let him do his work. So he's fit to be the president because he's defeat and he's fit. So I'm I'm very, very grateful for that. Okay, so yeah. after one year, I will still look for you, sir. Yes, I'm, I'm, to grant yes, I'm you. very, very much alive. Okay, sure. You Thank you welcome. very much. God so bless thank you very much for being here. God bless you. All right, thank you God guys for watching. It's your boy Italian Davido. Yeah. Obio. I greet everyone.